I had a wonderful English teacher, but but by which I mean English literature sure. teacher. And he was so, so brilliant at um, expounding Shakespeare, but making it live. Mm -hmm. um, that awful thing that I guess many students were, were so horrified by when the teacher says, just let's go around the class and read mm -hmm. the words. And there you go, that's that scene in that Shakespeare play. And it's deadly and, yeah, and sure. dreadful. And this teacher could bring it alive. He, he, he could make you understand how the language has so frequently not changed mm -hmm. um, and, and how those characters are entirely still recognizable. He was absolutely wonderful. And then, of course, it turned out that that teacher was the director of the school play uh. each year. So my idolatry then transferred to him. It transpired that he lived with his family in a windmill outside <laughs> town. And each weekend, I would bicycle out to his windmill, which was 12 miles wow. outside of town. And he would do extra sessions oh, and wow. then in addition to that absolutely extraordinary i mean there, there were several of us who did it but but extraordinarily he would then take us to the village pub uh <laughs> and we would sit and smoke i mean we, we he would be breaking you know, all, all the, the rules, all the rules with, yeah. with us and then he began to call us by our first names rather than our surnames. And that was unheard of. Oh, really? It's unheard of. You okay. should ever, oh. ever use somebody's first name at school. Wow. Um, so, yes, he was he was re rebellious in every way and inspirational in every yeah. way. Yeah.